In episode 96, we'll talk about podcasting and how they'll be used in each of the three classes that I'm scheduled to teach this spring semester 2021. Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.net. Before we get into today's topic, if you have any thoughts or comments on what's being covered today, feel free to reach out to me on my Twitter handle at BNLEEZ. The spring semester 2022, starting in January, January 24th to be precise, I'm scheduled to teach three classes, Writing Workshop, Listening and Speaking 2, and Communicative Abilities in English 2. So th for those of you who are taking each of these three classes, I wanted to provide an overview about, of how podcasting will be used uh, throughout the uh, semester. So for each of the classes, Writing Workshop, Listening and Speaking 2, and Communicative Abilities in English 2, you'll be able to access the podcast directly from Microsoft Teams. So there will be a link available to you to be able to access uh, that information. Each podcast will have respective show notes. So there'll be uh, text that will accompany the audio. And most of the podcast, in fact, will be in audio form. There might be some cases where videos will be created, uh, but it won't be part of the podcast per se. This will be primarily in just an audio format. And uh, again, you can access that through Microsoft Teams. Now, in the case of writing workshop, we'll be using podcasts a lot uh, to explain some of the strategies you can use for writing. And uh, the reason for creating a podcast is so that you have an audio component to what we're talking about something that you can access out of outside of class as often as you need to, whenever you need to, so that you're not only dependent on what we talk about in class. Now, the classes that, the classes that we have online in Microsoft Team will also be recorded as well, but the podcast will be very specific to certain aspects of the content that we're covering throughout the course. All right, and it will be presented to you in a way that will follow our learning sequence throughout the semester. Okay, so when we're talking about certain things in Unit 1, that information will be available. I will uh, bring to your attention where to find those podcasts that relate to uh, the, the things that we're talking about according to our learning sequence, according to the syllabus uh, that we have uh, for this semester. Those of you who are taking Listening and Speaking 2 and Communicative Abilities in English 2, we're going to be using podcasts much in the same way as the prior semester. I will continue using podcasts like I will in the writing workshop to present content, to explain different strategies to you. But in addition to that, we will continue our student podcast where you'll be encouraged to continue building on the topics that you started last semester and continue working in your weekly student podcasts. So just as we did last semester, you were encouraged to pick a topic that you uh, that it was of interest to you, something that you had a passion for, that you really want, wanted to seek out additional information or more information about the topic by listening to other podcasts. The thing we'll focus on more this second semester with our student podcast will be looking at how to synthesize that information. That is to find those episodes, take certain points from those episodes, and bring something new to what we learned from, that, from those sources of information. So we'll talk more about that as we get into the semester, but... Again, um, think about the topic that you that you spoke about last semester. If anyone wants to choose a different topic for a sec for the second semester, maybe you, you uh, do not want to continue with the same topic as last semester. That's fine, but do try to pick a topic 
or continue the same topic that you developed last semester and and stick to with that topic for the rest of the second semester. So we're not kind of jumping around uh, different topics. So make sure that you uh, have your website. If anyone wants, not website, but you have your podcast. And if anyone wants to change from a private to a public podcast, maybe last semester uh, you didn't feel comfortable but with having a, a public podcast, but now you feel more confident to have your own public podcast, I encourage everyone to post their ideas publicly and but it's not a requirement but if you do want to do so the second semester then I do encourage you to to make it public and uh, we'll be talking about the different tools and options that you have uh, available to you all of which are free the main option that I think most have decided to use is uh, is anchor FM but you don't have to use Anchor FM. You can choose whichever service you, you wish to publish your podcast publicly. The, the main reason for our student podcasts, the reason I'm asking and encouraging everyone to have their own podcast is so that each week you get into a routine of listening to podcasts based on a topic that is of interest to you you're thinking about those ideas that you got from those podcasts and you're synthesizing and bringing something new, offering your own opinion or perspective on that topic. And you're doing so practicing the target language, English in our case. Okay. So we're going to continue with our student podcast. Those of you who are taking listening and speaking to and communicative abilities in English too, we'll continue with that process. Those who, um, have a public website or those of you who are planning on creating a podcast that's public, we will have a designated space so that all of you can access your public uh, podcast. In fact, we will do so with the, the private podcast as well. Um, but I do encourage everyone again to consider publishing a public podcast. Why? Because what you're talking about, you might feel that you're, uh, maybe you're, uh, the level of your English is not sufficient enough, but what I want to uh, encourage you to think about is that it's really about the message. It's really uh, not about the mistakes. I don't want you to be worried about the the mistakes that you're making. I want you to get in and just Try to communicate, to articulate the message that you're trying to um, that you're trying to set out to achieve, so that your audience, your target audience, uh, can receive that information. Okay, so remember that your target audience is not me, your instructor. It's more about an authentic audience out there, someone who has similar interests, someone who has uh, an interest in the same topic that you have and that you're offering your own insights, your own opinions on those topics. So podcasting will be used in all three of the of our classes, the classes that I'm offering this semester, writing workshop, listening and speaking two, and communicative abilities in English two. In all cases, I'll be using podcasts to complement what we talk about and discuss in our live sessions and face-to-face -face sessions but also in the case of listening, speaking, and communicative abilities in English, we'll also have our student podcasts. If anyone out there is using podcasts currently and would like to share your experiences, feel free to reach out to me uh, at my Twitter handle at B-N-L-E-E-Z. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.